Another nightmare. I've been having them a lot lately. Oh, you're going to be fine, okay? Are you sure? I didn't know you were going to court today. Oh, but I thought I told you. I don't even remember anything. I'm just super excited I'm starting at this new school today. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. It's, I can actually see the whole excitement. Mm. <laughs> it's written all over your face. <laughs> oh my. So, um, when are you leaving? Mm, in a few minutes, just after breakfast. Oh yeah, you brush your legs, do your thing. Thank you. Beat people's children. Ah, ah, ah. Why would I beat people? <laughs> My lord, <laughs> may I? <laughs> oh, please do. Oh, I'm really happy for you. Congratulations. Can you pass me the bread? Thank you. You're welcome once again, Miss Vivian. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right, let me take you to your class now. Okay, ma'am. Let's start from you. Divine Friday. Divine Friday. Nice to meet you. And you? Orogenemaru. Orogenemaru. Nice to meet you. Ubu Michael.
you don't seem happy. Is everything fine? Yes, I'm fine. If you say so. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. Bye. Don't forget to do your homework. Okay, ma'am. Hi. Hi. Uh, you must be the new teacher. <laughs> yes. Great. I'm Gideon. I teach in primary five. Oh, I'm Vivian. I teach in primary four. Oh, primary four. <laughs> That's quite a handful. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to our school. Thank you. So how was your first day? I hope the kids weren't too stressful. No, they weren't. It was fine. Okay. That's cool. So um, are you new in town? I can't say I've seen you around. <laughs> Not really. Oh. Hey girl, so how was your first day at oh, work? It was great, better than I imagined actually. The kids were so nice and very smart. That's really good. And you, how's your day at the oh. court? Stressful, but the case has been adjourned till next week, so... Time to rest and prepare. Oh, okay, but you know you're equal to the task. <laughs> the law. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Hope the children did not disturb you. No, at all. Oh, Auntie, excuse me. Auntie, I. I don't... No, Auntie, I. <laughs> Babe, get me a drink, please. Okay, what do you want? Anything orange. Oh, cool. Good morning, children. Good morning, Auntie. You're all looking very well. Please clap for yourselves. Good. So today we are going to be talking about profession. Let me see if any of you um, can tell me what my profession is. Mm, Nancy. A teacher. Good. Can you clap for her? So I will ask, uh, I want to know what you want to be in future. Um, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Mona mm, Chimso. I want to be an engineer. An sure. engineer! Give him a round of applause. And you? I want to be a firefighter in the future. A firefighter! Good! Give him a round of applause. Any other pressing? Mm. Okay, Zikora. <laughs> Zikora, that is not a profession. And not even in this side of the world. So you better stop it. Okay? Any other person today? Mm. Dominion? I want to be a doctor. A doctor? Give her a round of applause. <laughs> now, see, if you want to be any of the things you have told me that you want to be today, the first step is education. What did I say? Education. You have to be educated. So it means when you're done with your primary school, you move to secondary school. And after secondary school, can you tell me where you go? Uh, tell me where you go. A university. Give her a round of applause. Now when you get to university, you go through the hurdle of being in school for four years. I noticed you didn't participate in class when I asked what everyone wants to be in future. Well, I'm still interested in knowing what you want to be. Tell me, what you want to be in future? Okay, it's okay. Maybe some other time. I want to be a pilot. A pilot? Yes, I want to be a pilot when I grow up. That's good. Well, you know you have to go to an aviation school, right? 
to become a pilot. I like that. Why don't you go join the other kids? That's I'm, a question, I'm isn't you, it? He said he wants to be a fighter, like a fighter, seriously. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These children. Very funny, I tell you. <laughs> Very funny. Yeah. Uh, I want to ask you something, if, if you don't mind. Sure. Do you still see yourself being a teacher in the long run? Yeah, sure. I mean, of course. Uh, I, I love children and... Honestly, I'm happy where I am now. However, I would still love to open up a business later or something. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. That's nice. And you? Me? Okay. Well, I actually would like to start a school of my own. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's <laughs> very nice. I'm just waiting on some funds. As soon as I get it, I'll get things off the ground. That's nice. Thank you. So, um, I have to go, go back to class now. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> All right. I'll talk to you later then. Yeah, see you later. Right, take care. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Oh, ma'am. Hello. <laughs> Miss Vivian. Good afternoon, ma'am. Oh, good afternoon. How has it been working here so far? It's been amazing. I mean, all the kids are special and intelligent in their own ways. Wow. Some are slow, but I know with time they'll catch up. How are and, you? <laughs> wow. Um, but there's, um, there's this particular kid, yeah. Ben. Okay. He's a bit um, off. He doesn't interact with other children in class. Mm -hmm. He comes to school very late sometimes. Um, he's never smiling nor happy. In fact, he's too sad for a kid. Wow. Ben has actually been like that. Even the previous teacher said the same thing. She tried her best to make him open up, but to no avail, so we gave up. We believe he's a kid, with time he will pick up. I hope so. Sure, he must pick up. Yes. <laughs> All right, ma'am. All right, darling. Yeah, the
I'm off to work. Okay, okay you will. Oh, breakfast is ready. Uh, no, that can wait. I will get some from the office. Oh, I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. I'm just trying to see. Okay. Ben, you Here's good? Dad. You Here's good? Dad. Are you ready? Yeah, Dad. Okay, Dad. Bye. Yeah, all right, darling. You're not stupid. You're only going to take you to school. <laughs> you're not serious. When you're done, find your way to school. Okay? Okay, man. my kitchen. Nonsense. I don't blame you now. That's why you fail your exams. When all you do is to come back and play and watch TV. Silly boy. Come. If you try to throw me to a snail in my own house, I'll kill you. Daddy, good afternoon. Hey, good afternoon, Ben. How are you? I'm fine, Dad. Good. Good boy. Dad. Yeah? There is a math assignment. I am finding it difficult. Can you please help me? Um, Daddy is busy at the moment, okay? Uh, let's try this some other time. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. Didn't you just hear what I said? I said I'm busy. Okay?
Ben, I read your composition. And all I can tell you is I understand you. But your parents love you. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, Miss Vivian. My parents don't love me. They don't care about me. My father doesn't have time for me. And my mother, she rather beats me and shouts at me. They don't love me. Vivian, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What happened? It's just that, um, what happened? So I, I gave my students a classwork today. Okay. And that classwork was for them to tell me about their families, what they love about them. Okay. And to my greatest surprise, what Ben, one of my students, wrote about his family really shocked me. Um, what exactly did he write? Uh, you know, it's almost like his family neglect him. It's like they don't care about him. That's why he's always by himself in class. He doesn't even mix up with other kids. Wow, that's really, really sad. You see, what baffles me is why two adults will come together, have a child only to finally act like they don't care. I mean, every child deserves to be loved and cared for. I'm almost certain they're not his biological parents. Really? Yes. And I don't know what to do. Joining the school bus. Okay, I'll drop you off, and I promise from today I'll pick you up from your house and I'll drop you off every single day so you don't have to trek anymore. No, thank you, ma. Don't worry, I will trek. No, 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 no. Let me worry. It's not a problem. If you don't mind, please. Okay, thank you, ma. You're welcome. Let's go. Okay, ma. 
Can you do me a favor? What? I want you from now on to interact more with your mates and try to be happy always. Okay, ma. Thank, Thank you. you, ma. All right. Bye. Bye, ma. Let me help you with your seatbelt. I know, but I need to go to Ben's house, pick him up before we head to school. Ben? Who, who is Ben? The little kid I told you about. Oh, that little boy. Oh, yeah. okay. Do you know that it takes 15 minutes even with a ride to get to school from his house? Yet his mom makes him trek every single day. But why is she treating him like that? I don't know. Beats me. Listen, I have to run. Oh, okay. I'm checking now. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no need. Oh, okay. Yeah. Stay safe, yeah? Okay. The law. <laughs> ah. And you too. Objection. <laughs> Have a nice day. Good morning, Miss Vivian. Good morning, Mr. Ben. Come on in. I see someone is in a good mood today. Yes. Good. Let's go. Now, did you get to do your assignment? Yes, I did. Great. Let's go. Sit belt. Sit belt. Ah, Vivian. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? My name is Ben. Ben? It's nice meeting you, Ben. <laughs> nice meeting you, too. Okay, Ben. Go to class. I'll okay. see you soon. Okay, Auntie. You didn't tell me you have a child. Oh, me? Ben is not my child. Oh, okay. How come you guys came to school together? It's a long story. Mm, okay, I'm all ears. Okay. Well.
looks like someone is in love with her co-worker. I don't even know what you're talking about, so You please. really don't know what I'm talking about. I know you too so much, Vivian. Mm. Look at you now. See the concentration, typing and all that. Just accept it that you love this your co-worker. It's not a bad thing. What are you talking about? What? I mean, Gideon and I are just friends. I've told you this before. And if you know that I am not a preacher of love. So right now, relationship is not even in my dictionary. Okay. Yes. So please, forget about it. Just friends. Yes. Friends. Yes. Mm. But then the chatting, the giggling, the smiling excitement while you're talking to this your friend please don't i smile with you oh don't i chat with you oh of course you do that really yeah vivian <laughs> what are you even doing here anyway it's a shift that bed i don't do much thing. you do your chatting my back Am I interrupting? No, the... you can watch your TV if you want. Can I, I can go somewhere use your else. Phone? I want to check something. <laughs> really? Thank you for everything. Thank you for taking care of me. Thank you for showing me love. I really appreciate. It's okay, Ben. Don't worry. I promise I'll always be there for you. Okay? Okay. Just be happy. Okay. I love you. <laughs> love you too. I'm going to miss you so much, honey. And I'll miss you too, okay? I mean, I'm only gone for just a week. I'll be back before you know it, all right? A week? A week is long. Come on, baby. <laughs> We've talked about this already. Hmm? It's okay. You can go. All right, mate. Ben, I will be gone for just a week, all right? I'll be back before you know it, so you can be a good boy, okay? Ben? Why are you not saying something? Don't you know your dad is traveling? Go and say something to him. Okay, dad. Bye. All right. Bye. Okay. No, baby, let me help you with your bag, okay? Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Yeah. Bye. What are you doing here? I'm, I'm watching it. You're watching TV. Go on, will you run inside? You're watching TV. Get out from here! Look at this stupid boy. Can you imagine? Hey! hey. I don't blame you. Ben! Get me some cheese. From the freezer in the kitchen. It's yours. Hey, girl. Hi. How's your day? Tiring. Good. What happened? But this, this, wait, how can a woman actually kill her husband just because she wants to travel, run away with her lover? It's such a wicked world. <laughs> how are you? How was your day now? Well, my day was good. Now, guess what? what? You know that kid I told you about? The little boy? Ben, yes. He's doing so much better now. I mean, now he's mixing up with the kids. 
I, I guess all he wanted was to feel loved. Oh, He's so such a sweet boy. That's so good. <laughs> see your face, see how you're smiling. But, Vivian, you know you're a very good person. Yes, you are. Not every woman will see a child and want to just um, cater for the child, care for the child, and sure that the child is fine, want to know the problem of the child. Well, you're right. But you seem to forget that as a teacher, it's a part of my job. Not every teacher will do that thing. Leave it. <laughs> do that thing. Anyway, very good. I um, ah, you seem to be very tired. Tired. See, let me grab you here. I'll change that. Come on. I made food. Oh, you did? Yes, I nice. did. Oh wow! How is our prince charming? Hmm? Our co-worker. You're not even serious. You just called him co-worker, and you know that's all he is to me. That's all he is? Yes. Really? Yes. So you, I'm, in fact, let me go and change. You come back and talk this talk. So this is what you are saying. Are you sure he's a co-worker? So do you expect me to bring your bag upstairs? Don't worry. Let me just change. I'll come and carry it. I have work to do. I'll do it downstairs. No problem. Hey, are you sure he's just... But I will stone you with this thing. <laughs> Can't somebody just ask questions? Eh? Yeah, do you? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> ben! Ben! Hey. Where is this guy? Eh? Ben! Yes, mama. I'm coming. Ah! What were you doing? I was reading my books. I was reading my books. Come on, will you come and clear this place? Come on, clear this place. He's looking at me. Stupid boy. Again. Mommy told me I'm sorry. Hey! That's the only thing you know how to do. You break plates every day. You destroy this lizard. How much do you think your father gives to me? You know what? You're not going to school again. You see that money I'll use in paying your school fees? That's what I will use in replacing this plates and every other thing you've been destroying in this house. Okay? Get out from here!
where you day I am missing you so much I can hardly sleep when I know you're out there Cause every night when I close my eyes I can hear you say mama I'm not doing okay Forgive me for the pain you're going through Cause I can feel it in my soul I pray that someday I'm gonna find you And I will never, never, never let you go again My little baby Wish I could hold you in my arms I know you're hurting, I wanna kiss your tears away My little baby, I wish to see you once again And I will never, never, never let you go again Oh, My little baby, wish I could hold you in my arms I know you're hurting, I wanna kiss your pain I could see you once again And I will never, never, never let you go again And I will never, never, never let you go again Where you day I am missing you so much I can hardly sleep when I know you're out there Cause every night when I close my eyes I can hear you say, Mama I'm not doing okay Forgive me for the pain you're going through Cause I can feel it in my soul I pray that someday I'm gonna find you and I will never, never, never let you go again My little baby, wish I could hold you in my arms I know you're hurting, I wanna Mom, kiss your tears I'm really worried. away It's been two days and he hasn't been to school baby, I, I don't know if he's okay Okay, calm down Vivian um, We have the mother's number let me call her and find out why he hasn't been coming. She's not picking up. So, Ma, what do we do now? We have to wait. If he doesn't come after one week, then we'll go and visit them. One week? Ma, that's too long. <laughs> Who knows? Tomorrow he might just show up. You need to take it easy. Look, I'm sure he'll be fine. Besides, it's just two days. With what I know about his parents, I'm honestly worried. I, I don't know if he's fine. He's fine. He's fine, okay? Stop worrying. Listen, I think maybe you should get your mind off things. You know, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about us. Us? What do you mean by us? Look, Vivian, I, I know it's a bit unprofessional. Mm, seeing as we're colleagues and all. But at the end of the day, the heart wants what it wants. 
And the truth is that I'm in love with you. Yes, I've been in love with you from the very first time that we met. And I'd really like us to be more than just friends and colleagues. I'd like to be your man. Stop. Kitchen, please just stop. You said it already. We are colleagues and it's not professional. I know, but... There's no buts. Honestly, yes, I like you, but I am not ready for a relationship right now. Why? Because my heart needs to heal. It needs to heal from what it's been through. And I'm not ready to love anyone right now. Please, let's just leave it as it is. As colleagues and friends and nothing more. You said no? Yes, I did. Come on now, Viv Vivian, look, I know you've been through a lot in the hands of men, but it's high time you moved on and opened your heart for some happiness. Yeah, well, that's not what I want. I mean, I'm not ready. In fact, I'm not even ready at all. That's not what's on my mind and that's not my problem at the moment. Do you know, Ben hasn't been to school for two days. I told the proprietress, she called the mom, Ben's mom, and she didn't pick her calls. Now the proprietress has asked me to wait for one whole week before we can go to the house. That the one week is too much, don't you think? Well, then you have to wait. No, I don't have to. If by tomorrow I don't see Ben at the usual spot and I don't see him in school, I will go to the house after school. Vivian, it's just one week. Well, I'm not waiting, I'm sorry. You... I have to check on him. Two days is a lot well, of you time. You have to wait. I'm you... sorry. Vivian, <laughs> don't go and do something that will spoil your... <laughs> Vivian, it's just one week old. One week. I don't know this what you're doing now. That's not fair. I have to check on him. Vivian, it... Oh. Stop it, boy! 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 It's okay, stop crying, stop crying. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? I am Ben's teacher. Uh -huh. What are you doing here? I haven't seen you in school for, for some days now, so I decided to check on you. So? So why here? So clearly, I care about Ben much more than you do. Excuse me? You heard me right. And what sort of mother are you? You maltreat and beat your child at every given opportunity? I mean, no matter what he's done, there is no way to correct a child. You correct a child with love and not with wickedness. Shut up! Shut up! How dare you? Stupid woman! Are you mad? You come to my house to tell me how to train my child? Shut up! Are you mad? Are you stupid? Then come here. How dare you? You think you can come to my house to tell me how to train my child? You must be stupid. Leave my house now! Do you know that I can make you lose your job right now? You make me lose my job. You must be a joker. Get out of my house! No, I can't leave until I am sure that Ben here is in safe hands and clearly you are too insane to do that. Teacher or whatever you call yourself, get out of my house now. Get out! What's, what's going on here? <sighs> Kenneth. How dare you? How dare you come into my house and make false accusation against my son? Eh? Kenneth, how can you say you don't know me? Kenneth, I've been to this house severally. Your dad was an engineer and he died when you were five. <laughs> Kenneth, you both have the same pet marks. Your mom don't usually come home till it's 6 p.m. because she's a chef. Enough! Kenneth, do you know her? Kenneth, tell me! 
help me? Are you responsible for this pregnancy? Talk to me. Yes, mom. Hey! Congratulations, Janet. You found yourself such a beautiful, young, vibrant wife. As far as I'm concerned, Vivian is no longer my daughter. Daddy. I have disowned her. Daddy. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. I will automatically bring her belongings Daddy, to you. Please, and sorry. don't ever! Daddy. Daddy, I said, I don't sorry. ever want to Daddy. see you in my house again. If you do, sorry. you will regret what I will do. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. Daddy. Daddy, Daddy, please, I'm sorry, Daddy. I will you bring me. your belongings to you. It's over. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. So that you too, you can let. Daddy, 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 Go to your husband. Don't ever touch Daddy. me. Don't touch me. Don't ever. Daddy, please, I'm sorry. Daddy. What did I do to you, Kinsey? What did I do to you? What did I do to you to deserve this? I am going out. Once you are done here, go inside, tidy up that kitchen. Hmm? And you prepare food for Kenneth. When you come back from school, you have something to eat. I have some clothes to wash too. Oh, Do you... I'm tired. I'm too weak for that. No, you are tired. I should drop my bag now and go and cook for you. You are tired. You are tired. Mm -hmm. When you are busy opening your leg up and down, you are not tired. Don't cook that thing. You are tired. Stupid girl. Because I, I, I left you in my house. I don't blame you. You are tired. Let me come back and I did not see that food. Onyala, you are not tired. We are not tired, you idiot. Come back, I can't have food there. Mama, 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 See, please, um, I'm hungry, so I don't know if there's anything in the kitchen. There's food in the kitchen. Then go and get some for me. I'm too tired. Come on, go and get something for me to eat. You're telling me you're tired. Lazy thing. Imagine. Oh, Kenneth, the baby. What is it again? The baby is coming, no? Oh. Where? Yeah, how? How? Mm. How now? Kenneth. Kenneth, come on. My son, you can't continue like this. Being a father at such a young age is too much on you. You are still my baby. And you still have so much to accomplish. That girl is just a witch. She's here just to destroy your destiny. But you know what? I will not allow her as long as I live. <sighs> I've been thinking. I want us to relocate another city. Yes. A place where you can live your life freely. A place we can go to the university without burden. Yes, me. You're right. But, um, what about my son? So I will never get to see him again. He's your grandson too, man. I know. Maybe you have to go with him too. Thank you so much. Mom. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Anything for you. You're all I have. Eh? I'm not saying because of a little mistake you made and I'll abandon you. No. Huh? Thank you so much. Mom. You're welcome. Eh? Thank you. Mama. 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 Mama? Oh my god. They have taken my baby. Jesus. Jesus. Mama? 
my, my baby, oh, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Where's my son? Where's my child? I want my child. Yeah. Will you get your hands off my house now? now? are you talking about? Get out of my house! Listen to me. Listen to me. You, your father, your father took you away. Your father and your grandmother. They took you away for a long time. That's why you haven't seen me. And I swear to God, I searched for you every single day. And now, I found my Go on, get out of my house! Rubbish! My son... What do, you, what do you think you're going to? Huh? To be with my son. What son are you talking about? Huh? How will you get out of my house unless I call the police on you? Then you better call the police because I am not leaving here until I be with my son. Ben! Get out of here! Get it! Ben! My son! Ben! Get it! Get out my child! Get it! What? Ben is your son. He's mine. Kenneth has no siblings. So he can't be Kenneth's sibling's child. Neither can it be his wife because she hates him. It only makes sense that he is my son. No wonder. No wonder. See the bond now. The way you both connected immediately. The bond is too strong. This just shows it all. No wonder. What? I just want my son. That's all I want. Hey, look, look. I just want my son. You're going to get your child back. I promise you. I want my son. Stop it. You're going to get your child back. I want my son. You get your child back. I promise you. I will do everything in my power. Vivian, calm down. Look, you'll get your child. You'll get your child, Vivian. Look, I promise you. Trust me on this. I will do everything I can. I want him back. You will get your child. I want him back. She's, she's Ben's biological mother. What? So it's true that you and your mother took him and ran away. You even lied to me that it was your girlfriend that died when, when, when giving birth to him. Gosh. Also, you made me to pretend that... I mean, I'm his mother. Gosh. Lina, I, 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 I am very, very sorry. Okay. I mean, how this happened when I was still very young. Okay. I, I wasn't even ready to be a family man at that time. And uh, mom decided it could be one of those tricks she wanted to use to tie me down. Look, son. Do not listen to all those lies that woman told you. Cynthia is your real mom, not her. Stop it, Dad! I can't believe you're still lying to me! Dad, I had everything. I had everything you told her in your bedroom. You said it with your own mouth that she is my mother. So why are you still lying to me? Ben? 
Ben. I said I want to see my son. I'm not letting you anywhere near into this house. Okay? So you better leave. So after everything you did to me, Kenneth, after all that you did to me, you still want to deny me the right to see my son. You, you must be a fool to think that I will let you, a negligent father and an abusive stepmother, raise my child. What, what, what nonsense are you spewing from that mouth of yours? And who even told you my wife has been abusive? Clearly, you don't even know who you're married to. She beats Ben at every given opportunity, under your roof and under your nose. You see why I call you negligent? Get out of my house, now. Out! No problem. I will leave, but I'll see you in court. And don't expect to win this time. Cynthia! Cynthia! Yes, Sonny. So you've been maltreating my own child in this house all this while? No. So you've been maltreating my child in my absence? That's not true. Shut up and be honest with me. I'm sorry, Oni. I, I didn't like the, the facts that you had a child, but I didn't want to tell you. I also didn't like the fact that he would be taking over your company and not my unborn children. I'm, I'm really sorry. Please. I'm sorry. Cynthia, if anything happens to my child, if any harm comes to my child, Cynthia, That will be the end of this marriage. Get out of my Get out of my way. Please, I'm sorry. Wow. You know, it's, it's now that I understand exactly what you meant when you said that you still had stuff to heal from. And this is really, really shocking to find out that a pupil of yours is actually your child? I mean, what are you going to do about it? I just want my child back. I want full custody. That's all. You know, I think that's the best thing. I support you on that. And I can tell you this, you're not alone, okay? I stand with you on this. Thank you. Wow, that is surprising. That's why I haven't been in school. Understand? Please, ma'am. I need to take some time off work. Just a little bit of time to fight for the custody of my child. Please, ma'am. It's okay. Thank you. Miss Vivian, from the little I have come to know you, I have realized how an amazing person you are. I definitely don't doubt you a bit. Please go for your child. Thank you. Miss Vivian, good luck. Thank you. Babe, oh, how far? Well, the court has given us a go ahead to run the DNA test. So tomorrow we have to go to the hospital. So Kenneth will come with Ben and you'll have to take his um, urine or saliva to do it. So once the test is positive, that means it's over. In fact, it has to be to know that he's yours. 
Okay. Go on inside. Look. Trust me, you're going to have your son back. I promise you. All right? Thank you. I'm doing everything possible. You will. Thank you. Okay. What are you saying? A young and naive girl who was dating a young boy loses her virginity to him after so much persuasion. And then in the process, she gets pregnant. Now, instead of the boy to show love, he started maltreating her and teaching her so much hatred. This young girl gets pregnant. When her father found out that she was pregnant, he disowned her and dumped her in the boy's house. After having a child, the young boy planned with his mother and they ran away with this child without my client's consent. And then she did not see her child again after a long time until recently, months ago, where she saw this boy in the school where she is working. That is the case of my client, Ms. Vivian Obi. Now, all my client is asking for is that her son be given back to her. Is that too much to ask? That will be all for now, my lord. My lord, this is just a one-sided story, which is entirely not true. It is true that she got pregnant at her young age, but it is not true that him and his late mother ran away with the baby. On the contrary, she ran away and left the child behind because she was ashamed of being pregnant at her young age. After she ran away, my client and his mother took care of the child themselves. Yes, he moved down to Ghana to further his education and later moved back to Nigeria with his wife and Ben. My client, Mr. Kenneth, is strong and a responsible father who at his young age became a father. But that didn't stop him from being a good father. He has been providing for the child. He provides 100% of what he needs. How come from nowhere she wants to come and take the child away from him? That is wickedness, my lord. That is all for now, my lord. What kind of lies? Everything is said in there with all lies. Look, I know. It's okay, but I know that we'll definitely win this case, okay? How? Just calm down. Look, calm down. All right? Honestly, it's bad. <clears throat> hey, 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 wait, wait, wait. What nonsense did you do in there? I don't know what you're talking about. What kind of lies did you tell him there? What kind of a human being are you? You call them lies. Well, that's my truth. What nonsense truth are you talking about? Leave me alone. What nonsense truth are you talking about? Accept it. Just this once. That this is already a lost battle. Leave can you imagine the gods? No, it's okay. It's okay. Just calm down. Can you see his he gods? Can. Forget about him. Calm down. Okay? Forget about him. Vivian, yeah, it's okay. My lord, please can we drop that? Then this exercise. That's exhibit. That is exhibit what? Exhibit A. Exhibit A. It's all right. Counsel, you may proceed. My lord, my client said this, Vivian, who was Ben's teacher, because she even found out that he is um, her son, noticed that Ben was always isolating himself from playing with other children in school. With curiosity and trying to know more about her students, she gave him an assignment to write and talk about her family. But to our surprise, what Ben wrote was quite shocking because he wrote and stated like he had a negligent father and an abusive mother. And another day, my client went to the house to see Ben, 
only to see that Mrs. Simpson here was beating the little girl. And Objection, my lord. Objection overruled. You may proceed, counsel. And with that, it shows that it's actually a norm, something that happens all the time. Looking at these things, it just shows that this world is not safe, staying with them. And it's going to definitely affect his mental health. Mm. This is why my client here is asking for full custody of our child. That would be what All right. My lord, I must say that it's not sufficient and enough reason to say that his father is negligent and his mother is abusive. In Nigeria here, it is not a crime to spank your children when they do something wrong. I am very sure the day he wrote that thing, he was angry at the mom for beating him. My Lord, my mother spanked me when I was a child. I felt that she didn't like me, but now I am an adult. I discovered that it's part of raising a child. My Lord, if Ben should go back to his biological mother, will she be able to take proper care of him? Will she be able to provide for him the way Mr. Kenneth provides and takes care of him? Will she be able to give adequate care? She's just an ordinary teacher. Objection, my Lord. Objection sustained. Counsel, you may proceed. Teaching is a honorary job. And even if my client does not earn enough, at least she earns enough to be able to take care of her son. Besides, it's not just about money, but every child needs a mother's care, love, concern. And that is what my client is asking to give and to have. Thank you. My verdict. After listening to both parties and with the evidence before me, it is obvious that the little boy, Ben, has been grossly neglected by the people who are supposed to be his parents, and that is Mr. and Mrs. Okoli. 
I therefore give full custody to Miss Vivian Obi, who, of course, <laughs> is the biological mother. However, Mr. Kenneth has the right of visitation and must pay child support, the little child, for his upkeep. I write. Such a wonderful feeling when I hear him call me mom. <laughs> I can imagine. Why are you looking at me like that? I have a question to ask you. A question? What question is that? What about us? Well, we'll see what the future holds for us. Okay. Thank you.